to you and I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. I do mostly synthetic wig related content here. We're multicultural, we're inclusive. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, you're one of my little doll babies. Hi doll baby, how are you? So happy that you are here. Today is a very special video because I have a new partner and I'm so excited. I received a few wigs from a beauty nook and how do I describe beauty nook? I really enjoy beauty nook because it's all name brand wigs but they have this facebook group and it's like this online community that is so supportive so mm, interactive like people really seem to know each other on there it's just there's a lot of information flowing a lot of support a lot of positivity and i just really 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 enjoy it so i'm going to be reviewing a couple wigs from them they also have an app where you can purchase from which is super awesome I love that and she the the owner does these lives on Friday nights where she really shows the new wigs and, and different wigs that they're featuring and if you go on the lives and you purchase you get like different discounts and stuff um I will also she also provided me with a discount code which is awesome so I'll put that on the screen and also down below but I want to thank Beauty Nook so much for partnering with me. I'm very, very excited. So let's get to the wig that we're talking about today. Today I'm reviewing a wig from Renee of Paris. Um, usually I do sort of like an unboxing and everything. But I was so excited about this. <laughs> I had a little date with my boyfriend and I had to wear it and he absolutely loved it. So so I have worn this once. So I actually have additional thoughts than I wouldn't normally if I was just putting it on. So who are we even talking about? Because I keep talking. So today we are talking about, and this is the Renee of Paris box. This is Renee of Paris's Noland. And I have Nolan in the color Coffee Latte. She retails for $308.55. But again, you can use my uh, discount code, which is below. Uh, rah, 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 rah. This is Nolan. She reminds me so much of Lane, a longer version of Lane, and I absolutely love Lane. I actually got Lane in a darker color because I did her in a blondish color, mochaccino, and I got her in the same color and I didn't even realize. So this is Nolan. Okay, a little bit about Nolan. This is her parting space. Um, as you can see right there from this end, she is a lace front. I did not cut the lace, even though I did wear it. I didn't find it necessary to cut the lace. So she's a lace front with a lace monofilament parting, okay? She's got this sort of open weft, you know, airy cap, okay? There are no combs in this wig, but there are adjustable straps. And the straps are sort of like those, like your bra strap up here. You know, you can pull it and tighten it or loosen it. She weighs about 4.9 to 5.3 ounces. And it says it's part of their high fashion line. It comes in both petite and average size caps. I have an average cap. And yeah, so that's what we have for Nolan. She comes in tons of colors and some of these gorgeous, gorgeous rooted colors. Uh, one of which is the, comes in the rooted color of Melted Marshmallow. I have another wig in that color from them and I absolutely love it. Um, I also love the Melted Coconut. I'm not sure if it comes in that. I don't see it right away. But yeah, so this is what she looks like. She is a really like flat iron type of wig very very silky very silky there is a tiny bit of grip but it is a very silky straight wig let me get her on and then we'll talk about her because i have already worn her so i have thoughts actually tightening that strap helped because it was a li little bit snug on me or i'm sorry it was a little bit big on me when i wore it before all right i'm gonna get this girl together which won't take long because she's really like kind of a put on and go style. She does have bendable ear tabs, um, but let me get her together and then we will talk. <laughs>
can see I did use a little hairspray. This is not a heat safe wig. This wig has been flattened out a little bit because I used, which I have another video and I also will have an update video on this. I used this little travel steamer, um, just steamed all this. You shouldn't steam wearing a wig, but I did do that. Um, and you'll see this coming up in way more videos, but I used this travel steamer just to bring it down a little bit. That's just my preference but it worked very very well just because of the fibers there can be some like mm, flyaways so that's why i sprayed it down and clipped it just for a second to train the hair um but in the meantime all the hair to the front so this is a you know a thinner density um so if that is what you're looking for that is great the wig cap's comfortable um I'd say, yeah, it's an average wig cap. There's a little bit of a give. So I think if you needed a little bit of a bigger wig cap, because I did tighten it, um, it would be okay. Definitely, you're going to want to use a wig grip with this because it does not have combs. I didn't cut the lace back. I didn't feel the need to. All I did was, as you can see, I put uh, powder foundation right along, and I've been doing that, right along the lace, right into the hairline, just so it blends a little bit better. Um... My favorite powder right now is Bare Minerals Bare Pro in Cool Beige 10. As you can see, I'm getting ready to pan this, which is so sad because I love it so much. It just really works for me and my skin tone, but I can't remember. I think I got it like TJ Maxx or something, but to replace it, it's like $30. And I feel like I have other powders I don't need, but this is like my favorite powder. So maybe if there's a sale or something, um, I might check out, I think Ulta's having their 21 days of beauty if they're having a sale or something I might pick one up because I do use it all of the time so she caught a little bit on the edges and like I said I already wore her and put her back in the box it was just a matter of like after I wore her the whole night it came out very very easily I love like the coloring and I'm like sort of combing her back and doing this I would use maybe some like styling cream or whatever but I do find just using the clips and letting it dry like I didn't let it dry enough but if you use if you spray it where you want and use the clips it should sort of tone down any flyaways I am a person who hates bangs so anything in my face like drives me nuts I know not everybody's like that um so I'm always wanting to clip things back out of my face but I think it looks so pretty it really does give me lane vibes it gives me um you know your hair was cut like lane and then you sort of grew it out and flat ironed it it is basically the longer flat iron version of lane so this is what she looks like just sort of down and straight this is what she looks like let's look at her from the back I mean, this definitely is a thinner density. Once we're done looking at it from the back, I want to sort of play around with the part to see if I can move it around. This color is stunning. I absolutely love the color. This is just such an easy peasy wig. What I want to check though is, because it's a monofilament, I'm going to brush through what I just sprayed down. And see if I can shift the part up just a little bit. See, because you have like from here to here to sort of change that part up a little bit. Because I feel like I kind of want some bangs on both sides. Because one of the pictures I saw, she looked more like a middle part. So let me play with her and see what we can do. it like then gave it a little bit more volume in places so I do feel like you could really customize this I'm gonna clip I'm just gonna do this because I have a thing like I said with bangs 
but I do feel like I really like this wig. It did take very, very well to the to the travel steamer. So I think like once you got it where you wanted it, you could use a travel steamer to sort of uh, train the fibers. I'm not overly crazy with how stark these bangs are. I don't hate them. I just feel like, I mean, it looks good now. I just feel like because of the way that they're cut, it's taking a little bit more for me to get it where I want it. But again, I'm not a fan of bangs, so that's like a that's like a thing. Um, but I do think it looks just sort of like natural, like a cut. I do think it looks like Lane grown out for sure. So yeah, feels good. Yeah, I like it. What are your thoughts about this wig, Nolan? If you have Lane, do you think it does look like a longer version of Lane? I kind of like it where I put it now. I think this is like the best place for me where I sort of crossed it in the front. Um, it's given it really like a natural situation. You could sort of dig your fingers in here and give it a little bit of volume if you wanted to. But yeah, so this is Nolan. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. And if you have this wig, what you think, uh, if you have it in a different color. If you're interested in buying this wig, you can go ahead and use my code down below. I will link all of that. The Beauty Nick is a great company. Uh, customer service is great. Um, like I said, you can get this on a pretty good discount. So uh, yeah, thank you so much to the Beauty Nook. Please go over and give them some love. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!